it's a gym, not a fashion show. True. Doesn't matter what you wear as long as you're there lifting. And this is where you're wrong. If you consider yourself a stylish dude, it doesn't stop when you cross the threshold of the Iron Palace. Gentlemen, you gotta make sure that you're wearing clothing that fits you, that looks sexy, that enhances your body, and that doesn't make you look like a huge, monstrous douche. Plus, the sheer spiciness of the senoritas that are at the gym nowadays is mind-blowing. The gym is also an amazing place to meet a single spicy senorita, but you gotta make sure you're ready, and you're gonna be ready if you dress well, stylish, and sexy. The first thing I just wanna mention real quick before we get into this video, gentlemen, is my outfit is sexy. Like seriously, all right, check it out, right? The simple, clean, white Nikes, right? I'm wearing the new, recently dropped, Cuts Concord Joggers, which I'm gonna have a link to down below if you wanna grab these gentlemen. They just launched, and they are the best joggers on the market, period. But the Concord Full Zip Jacket, gentlemen, is absolute perfection. Whether or not you're throwing it on to go to the gym or you're traveling, right? Picture it, you're going on a vacation, you're going on a plane, right? What do you wanna wear? You wanna wear jeans and things that are uncomfortable or do you wanna rock something like this, right? You're clean, you're sexy, you're comfortable, and when you arrive, you arrive in style. And then underneath, gentlemen, check it out, of course, the cuts, AO, simple t-shirt with the curved hem. Guys, that's the thing about cuts, they make perfect clothing, whether or not it's for the gym, whether or not it's for the office, whether or not it's going from the gym to the office out, you are gonna look amazing. The clothing is next level. And like I said, right now they recently dropped this new collection, the joggers, the full zip, but they also quarter zip Concord jacket, right? I'm telling you, gentlemen, look at the details on this thing. The fabric is incredible. The fit is absolute perfection. You wear this to the gym, next level. You wear this out on a date, next level. You wear this around town when you're rocking and rolling on Saturday, going to the park, throwing a frisbee, chasing those spicy senoritas, or I should say, running from them because you're gonna have so damn many. Anyway, guys, bottom line is this. Cuts makes perfect clothing. Down below, hit that link, that discount code, like I said, 20% off for a limited time. What I recommend is check out this new Concord collection. It is a must-have for every stylish dude. Now let's talk about you not wearing some of these things to the gym. So we're gonna start at the feet and work up. The first gym style don't is all about footwear. You gotta make sure you're wearing the right footwear. What is not the right footwear? Crocs, sandals, flip-flops, sneakers that are dirty, nasty, worn out, or stink. Boots, like I've literally seen work boots. Slippers is another one that I've seen recently that is just insane. And barefoot, never ever be barefoot. This includes socks. Number two, let's talk about shorts, all right? Few things you should avoid, all right? Number one is super short shorts, right? They make you look a little bit silly. Super long shorts also make you look super short. Gentlemen, you gotta make sure that the shorts that you're wearing come down mid-thigh or about an inch above your knee, all right? Now, one other pro tip, if you're wearing mesh shorts, you need to make sure you're wearing underwear. Nobody wants to see your wiener flopping around, and that's exactly what people see if you're wearing mesh shorts without undies. Cargo shorts, out. Khaki shorts, out. Anything with pleats, out. Gentlemen, you gotta make sure that the shorts you're wearing are stylish, fit you properly, and are stretchy so that you can actually move and do your thing, which should be squats. Don't skip squats. Next up, let's talk about pants, all right? Now, number one, don't wear spandex pants by themselves because everybody has seen the dude and everybody knows that dude is a little bit weird, right? Nobody wants to see your package, even if you do look like a superhero. Number two, you gotta make sure the pants aren't too big, too baggy. They shouldn't be puddling and pulling around your feet. The other downside to wearing big baggy pants is that it makes you look super short. Big baggy, like swishy pants, gentlemen, with a big, huge opening also is not exactly stylish these days, all right? You wanna look for something that's a little bit more tailored and tapered. Um, sweatpants with the standard like elastic band at the bottom or the ankle, I also don't feel is your best option. Personally, joggers I think are the best option in terms of gym pants, right? Not only do they look great in the gym, they also look amazing when you're just out and about casually, all right? Think of it as like athleisure, all right? Here's a pair that is not ideal, right? This is joggers, right? But notice it's got this like kind of like fabric or this racing action down at the knee. This is not stylish. You also want to make sure when it comes to joggers, you're not doing something that's like a casual jogger that's made out of some type of like cotton chino fabric, all right? These will look great with like a pair of Jordans or something, but they're definitely a more casual option. They're not meant for the gym. When it comes to workout pants and joggers, guys, you just got to make sure that the fit is perfect, right? And that's a thing. Think of gym clothing as like your like dress clothing. You got to make sure the fit is flawless, all right? And that's something that I love so much about these Concord joggers by Cuts. The fit is awesome. They also make my booty look amazing. Seriously, yeah, you like that? 
<laughs> whatever, it's because I squat. Gentlemen, like I said, the chicks, they notice the booty, so make sure you develop it, all right? You don't want a flat ass, which means those joggers can't be hanging down. Anyway, let's move on. Next up, let's talk about t-shirts. T-shirts, do not wear anything that is offensive. Do not wear anything that is stinky. One of the downsides to a lot of the like sport like shirts, right? They have moisture wicking fabric, but the downside is that oftentimes they're made out of some type of synthetic fabric. And what happens is when you sweat, the bacteria basically like gets inside the fibers. And when you wash it, unless you're actually using a sport detergent or you know how to properly care for your athletic clothing, you end up stinking because you're not actually removing the stink and the bacteria that builds up inside of those fabrics. And so if you are gonna be wearing some type of like Under Armour shirt or something that does have a sports type fabric, you just gotta make sure that when you're done with it, you gotta hang it up, don't wad it up and toss it into your hamper. And then when you go to wash the clothing, you gotta make sure that you turn the clothing inside out, this helps. Also use a sports specific detergent that is designed to get the funk and the stink out of the fabric. And the water temperature should be as hot as humanly possible. That is the best way to actually remove the stink from your funky ass workout clothing. All right, the next shirt I wanna talk about is something that is skin tight, all right? So there's nothing wrong with showing off that you work out, right? You can wear fitted clothing without it being literally like skin tight. The problem with clothing like Under Armour is that it makes everybody look like a dad in terms of a dad bod because you're not as lean as you think you are. And so what happens, you stretch this bad boy over your body and all the nooks and crannies and softness in terms of love handles and man boobs pops out. The other downside to wearing these super tight clothing is that if you manscape at all and you've got any type of stubble, it catches on the fabric and it shows. Anything that's too short. If you go to grab and do pull-ups and you can see your midsection and you literally look like Britney Spears, this is bad. If you're sitting there benching and your gut's all hanging out, this is also bad. You gotta make sure that t-shirt is down or you gotta tuck it in and tie it down. Oops, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Right? <laughs> I love you, Brittany. Anyway, you're crazy, but I love you. All right, anyway, where I digress. Here's the deal. Let's talk about sweatshirts, all right? Because this is one of the things, I see some dudes and they're wearing like big, oversized, ratty sweatshirts. Now, if that's kind of your aesthetic, that's fine, but if you want to look stylish, you got to make sure you show off a little bit more about what the body's got going on underneath of the sweatshirt. And so, the sweatshirt should fit you properly, all right? It also shouldn't have anything that makes you look like a child or a little boy. Big logos, lots of design makes you look like a little boy. In terms of colors and patterns, gentlemen, less is more. More subdued, in my opinion, looks a lot better. You also need to make sure that the clothing you're wearing, once again, it coordinates, right? Just like style outside of the gym, you gotta make sure that what you're wearing to work out also matches and is coordinated, all right? If your clothing screams, look at me, look at me, it's the wrong clothing. Instead, your clothing should just be like, yo, check me out. Yeah, mama, I look sexy. Are you checking out my booty? I know you are because it looks amazing because I squat. Gentlemen, next up, let's talk about tank tops. Cut off homemade tank tops are bad. They look bad on literally everybody because you're not as lean and shredded as you think. They expose your man boob meat. They also make you look soft and doughy in the middle. The other problem with these is that they make you look small. The reason is that when you actually remove the sleeve so low, you are actually creating a shirt that looks like a box, right? Because now it's big and baggy in the center as opposed to more cinched. But you're like, yo, good news. I got a ton of wife beaters. Gentlemen, wife beaters are also no good. And this is what I would consider to be an alternative, an appropriate alternative to the wife beater, right? It's a tank top, a little thinner in terms of the straps, but it's not too super crazy tight in the body. It fits well, but it's not skin tight. And last but certainly not least, let's talk about hats, all right? So hats, I think, are definitely appropriate in the gym, all right? A simple baseball hat looks amazing, but what does not look amazing is as you start to turn that hat to the side. Now, I used to say never wear baseball hats backwards. I have softened on this. Honestly, it does make you look a little bit more youthful, but the truth is, I think it doesn't look that bad on most dudes. But bottom line is if you are gonna be wearing a hat, you need to make sure that it is clean. You need to make sure that it also complements your outfit. You also need to make sure it doesn't smell like ass. You also should never tuck your ears into your hat. That looks, that looks lame. Gentlemen, speaking of lame, if you avoid the things that we talked about in this video, great news. You look good because remember, when it comes to style, it's not just about what you do when you go to work or when you go out with your friends. It's about what you do anywhere, whether or not it's going to the grocery store or even the gym. And I'm not saying that you need to wear like a three piece suit or Versace, but you need to be diligent in choosing items that make you feel good, that make you look good, and that are appropriate regardless of where you are or who you're with.